Yeah, there, there's there's like a small charm to how like tiny this hack is, how fast paced it all goes. And like for people who played the original enough, even though the rooms are moved around, you can still generally tell what like room was what in some places. Like this one is by the this is the room like near the Brinstar Crateria elevator. That um on the opposite side it has like a reserve tank and some other stuff. Yeah, this is the room that makes you run. Yeah, it makes you run through it, or you can mock ball through it if you've got sequence break mind. But yeah. Some of them I don't know, but I like how you say sequence break mind as if it's like an illness. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. You've got sequence break. It's fatal. <laughs> For some people it is. You will never again be able to appreciate this game the way it was actually constructed. <laughs> oh, that's a power bomb. Alright. I know there were some super missile doors in the right ship, but I want to just go... keep going this way. Because we're still looking for Varia suit. Just keep making progress. Yep. This might not be progress. <laughs> you fucked up. You fucked up. Wait. <laughs> they were backwards. Okay, sequence break brain is one thing. Just like picking out random tiles brain is a different a different thing. I know there is a normal crate fight somewhere in here. Um, but there's no real reason to go up to the ship. Oh, that's all the rooms. For whatever reason, all the rooms are visible on the Criteria map. Early stuff was weird. The maps don't even save right across, um, across hard saves in most old hacks. It was something to do with just, we hadn't fully figured out the save RAM stuff. These days it's not a problem, but... Kind of fun as a little time capsule. I mean, the interesting thing to me about old ROM hacks is looking back and realizing, in a lot of cases, how few tools there really were at the time and how much things have changed since then. Hmm. Like, using actual personal experience from this collection of idiots. Uh, look at Fire Emblem <laughs> ROM hacking. Yeah, look at the way we started versus how we ended up. Not even that. Like, the stuff that was relevant a decade ago was... Like, I don't, I don't want to call the tools completely garbage. But I will, because they were. <laughs> I was going to say, even, you... Even they, by they the were. standards of the time, they were completely fucking garbage. Everybody, like, they, when we they, were doing it, hated F-Editor. Yeah, like, they were they were the best that was available, but that didn't make them not garbage. Yeah, it was, uh, it was dire. And the problem is, a lot of the time, like, you need to have the interest in the scene for better tools to be made. Yeah. And that's not going to happen unless you have those initial garbage tools that barely work. Yeah, that's the sad reality of, uh, of Yoshi's Island right now, is that the tools exist, they're not great they didn't really get developed properly 
for much longer than like one or two early releases. And so, like, I would love to see people do Yoshi's Island hacks, but they don't because the editor just kind of sucks. And no one stepped up to do a, a new one because the interest doesn't seem to be there. So it's a, it's a cycle. Or in, like, the I, case of Link to the Past... Um, I, yeah, I was about to say Link to the Past. I can think of... Most of the hacks I can think of for that game that aren't the randomizer are from 15-plus years ago. Yeah. I think a lot of what happened in that case is just... Um, I feel like interest that would have gone into hacking Link to the Past largely went into, like, Zelda Classic. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. And, like, rightfully so. Zelda Classic is great. It, it's, like, a very flexible program uh, to work off of. It would be way harder to do most of the stuff they do in Link to the Past in... Or, no. It'd be way harder to do the sort of stuff that gets done in Zelda Classic in Link to the Past. So... Why not? Meanwhile, Mario World, like, the interest has always been there for hacking that game, and as far as I can tell, M Mario the World is basically ever the tools improve basically every year in some way or another. Yeah, you like you can do like literally anything in Mario World at this point. Yeah, and like Fusoya is still around. Like, problem, you know. People got problems with the whole um, doesn't refuses to open source the editor and, or, and like stuff like that. But like, yeah, he doesn't have any any obligation to, but he still does like all of he does keep it updated. He adds some new features, and like it's been over twenty years at this point that the the thing is going on. So like, it's just impressive that it keeps going that he keeps maintaining it. And that's also, the fact that he keeps maintaining it is part of why it's so difficult, I think, for... Um, a different editor to come in and... Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, okay, that one's a little lazy. <laughs> okay, but is this following Metroid 1 logic of there's multiple ice beams? <laughs> If not, then good luck with the Metroids at the end, I guess. But yeah, no, as a, uh... As a Donkey Kong player... Of... I was gonna say of some renown, but, you know... Sure, only, go with I'm that. only semi-joking when I say that I am most of the English uh, ROM hacking scene. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mario World hacking makes me extremely jealous because there is just nothing, comparatively speaking. Mm -hmm. But also the, the interest isn't there for whatever reason. Well, the interest isn't there because the tools are awful to use. They're really hard to figure out. I don't know. It's just, it is weird. But also, how many people are realistically clamoring for Donkey Kong Country ROM hacks, you know? Uh, some people are. I mean, the thing is, if the tool exists, people will come and do it. Consider consider the resurgence in the, uh, the Fire Emblem community. Like, FE Builder... Oh yeah, once the current iteration of uh, the tools. Yeah, Builder is objectively an amazing program for the scene like without it you wouldn't have what you have now with people all over the place doing stuff like it is in the middle of honestly i would i would put it roughly equivalent to like a mario hacking renaissance like it is so good for for that community right and yeah and yeah it's there's the whole uh chicken and egg thing where, you know, people don't want to update the tools because nobody has any interest in the scene, but nobody has any interest in the scene because the tools are garbage. Yeah, so yeah. it's like 7743 came out of nowhere with Builder, and suddenly 
Well, now the tools are good. We can... people can make stuff. Although there's, uh, there, there is potentially the argument to be made that Builder wouldn't have existed had uh, whatever the hell that the the um, Zelda Classic version. Oh, XNA. XNA, yeah. Had that not been the complete shit show that it was. Maybe. I appear to have messed up the uh, the screen scroll slightly. Huh. This may be... This may cause problems. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh, maybe? That seems incorrect. Uh-oh. Are you... <laughs> you know, I was joking earlier about being on too good an emulator. I might be in trouble here. Because <laughs> as I said... <laughs> no, this isn't an emulator thing. This is a matter of the screens scrolling improperly. Um, like, uh, the, just the scrolls, the way the camera is set, not functioning properly, but, uh, I appear, crap. Just keep powering through it. We'll, we'll see how, how long until it fully breaks. Yeah, the, the problem is I don't really have a way to reset this, because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's no, um... There's no hard saves other than the ship, which is broken. So, um... I don't know, are we gonna have some weird, like, Mario 3 scrolling going on? Maybe a f hard reset of the thing? No. I don't know, maybe I can go back to the room where it broke and re-manipulate. <laughs> I mean, if it fails, then we may just stop, because I, I won't have a way to fix it. Yeah, At that lord. point, Oh, oh, oh yeah, this god. is... <laughs> At that point, if this... You still post this video, and it just becomes, you know... Yeah, yeah. A minor showcase, as opposed to... Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is, uh... This is some real crunchy scrolling here. <laughs> the seam... I've been seeing the seams. The wheels are falling off. Damn, this is I being didn't realize we were playing an NES game. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so now what you need to do is have Yoshi eat the shell mm, on the exact mm. same frame he's eating something else. You're right. Oh, I, we, we might have bullshit our way into making it work. Where's the... Can't I jump here? There. I mean, we're not making it work yet. We might just be over here making it worse. Because this was the room that it broke. Oh my god. It's so hard to... It's all shifted over. Okay, like, I... Oh, God. How am I gonna jump up this? Now, oh, we might have to call this. This is... This is falling apart. <laughs> oh, there's numbers off to the side. Hell yeah! <laughs> this is this is like some Secret Worlds bullshit from Metroid 1. Yeah, really. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think I can uh, fix this really, realistically. Goodness. Let's get back to the ship. Let's let's we'll sit down on the ship, load a save, see how much it breaks, and uh, we'll call it there. Where's my exit? How do I get back up? This one. This was very unexpected. Help! I don't know where I am. Oh god, it's vertically wrong too? Oh, this is excellent. Oh, man. Oh, where am god, I? This, 
This rules. <laughs> 10 out of 10, no notes. Ooh, beautiful. Oh man, it's so crunchy. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think at this point you have an obligation to make this hard save and then load it. Yeah. Uh, that's too bad. Like, we're not going to sit down and re-record it, so, like, I'll just mention, like, some of the stuff that I can remember. I do remember that the escape sequence has Spore Spawn in it. You shoot him with Hyper Beam once and he dies. Now. He just dies in one hit. Uh, X-Ray is to the right of the ship, but I think you need Speed Booster for it. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Yay! Oh, oh, hello. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so it spawns us in the escape? I don't know. It appears to, yeah. Because the escape is somewhere down here. Video games! Also, the map is broken, as you can see. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, I guess... Okay, there's his room. Uh, I don't know where I am. Wait, is that the Metroid, or is that supposed to be Spore Spawn? It's probably about... It's probably just a matter of, like, the, uh... the, the sound effects being wrong for this set. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Whatever, whatever, wherever we actually are, Spore Spawn is attempting to call a sound effect, and it's using the Metroid sound effect instead. Probably gonna... because Mother Brain is loaded as that flashing bit there, isn't it? No, it's just probably calling the wrong sound effect. I don't know. That That's just some spikes going through a palette cycle, honestly. Anyway, that's, I think this will do it for us. Uh, this was an, an impromptu end to uh, searching for items. It's not that bad. Go, go, go. If you're interested, go and play it yourself it's a quick one you can finish it in less than an afternoon but um yeah it's actually still good for being old and just uh make sure that you don't hit the same weird scroll that i did somehow <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time with whatever whatever my next larger project is just Take... don't break the game idiot god I'll, I'll try i'll try really hard next time guys see ya goodbye Thank you.